Hey everybody, it's Michelle and welcome back to Sweet Pea Farm NY. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I am just sitting by my pond where the peepers are super loud and I wanted to show you guys um, what we've been using my new Gallagher Electronet for. I have both a Premier One Electronet and a Gallagher Electronet um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the pros and cons of both and kind of show you guys what we're doing with them and how you can maybe implement them on your homestead. Um, they're a great way to not invest a ton of time and money in fencing, permanent fencing, and be able to um, really encourage the productivity of your pasture or your lawn or whatever um, as far as grazing your animals. So let's check out what I've been doing. So when it comes to choosing how you're going to manage your grazing and what you're going to do, it's definitely going to strongly depend on what kind of animal you're grazing. So here on our farm, we have both sheep and goats. Uh, they are both very different in the way that we manage them for different reasons. You can see my sheep right there. Um, and they go into my big barn every night, which is across the property. And that's not a problem because they follow me, they're sheep, they flock together. So I can very easily move them out to a new spot every day um, and then back into the barn every night and it's very easy. If it were the goats and I was trying to do that, it would be a bit more hectic because the goats don't flock or follow like the sheep do. So, and every herd is different. Like there's gonna be different uh, dynamics with every group of animals, whether it's the sheep or the goats, but with our boar goats uh, specifically, they do not really flock or follow like nearly as easily as the sheep do. So we started using the Gallagher uh, right here by the house. Then we moved them down to a spot here. Then um, on Mother's Day, they were right in front of my house. I kind of looped the fence in a U shape from one side of the fence or one side of the house to the other. And then I kind of just have moved them along. This dark green spot here was a particularly rainy day. So I was worried it was going to stay muddy, but you can see um, the progression and how well the grass is growing back. We've had really cold temperatures um, up until now, so our grass is not growing. This is the grass uh, down here that hasn't been grazed at all, and you can see it's not very tall for middle of May. So uh, I've just kind of moved them along. They were down here yesterday um, on the pond. They had been up there. And, or maybe they were, no, they weren't here yesterday. They were there before, looped on. And then that's where they are today. And I have the pond, so that's nice that they can access the water. And they're all kind of just taking their midday snooze because they've eaten quite a bit already. And so then there's a little solar charger that's next to my, um, we call that the farm stand. And it has a little three foot grounding rod that we just move with it every other day usually I try to be proactive and think okay where's the spot that I you know in the middle of the next move so I don't have to move it every day so that little uh, solar charger is what powers the electricity on the net I can honestly say that there's not a likelihood that the sheep would push the fence even if it didn't have an electric charge on it they're pretty uh, calm animals and they don't really push the limits so if they see the fence they're not going to try to walk over it but the electricity is kind of just a, a comfort to have to know that nothing is really like if somebody's walking their dog off the leash on our country road here like the dog can't get into them or anything so so I do I do turn it on but um, tomorrow I'm just gonna take this part down and then loop it onto the grass um, to the pond over there where Chloe's fishing right now and then they'll have the shelter from the little hut and the, um, where's the male lady? Shelter from the little hut and they'll have the water from the pond as well. So, so I'm loving this because our main pastures, uh, we seeded, but as you can see, there's not tons of grass in there. So we've been giving those a rest for the last week or so. Um, this pasture, when we took them off, it was just straight mud. There was no grass. So. I'm glad to see that some of the grass seed did take and is growing. That's better than I expected. So unlike the Gallagher that we move every day, 
Uh, the premier one netting, we move more like once a week. The goats are on pasture. I'm going to take you over there and show you. And they go on a bigger space where we cut the pastures like in half with the net. And then, um, you know, after a week or so we move it and, and it works. The goats have to be in complete electricity because they're naughty and will climb or stick their head through everything if they don't have that electric barrier. So the goats have um, a different setup and they're not moved quite as often. There are more sheep. I have 22 sheep on that net versus the goats over here. I think there's mm, 17. There's two does that are still about to kid in the barn plus four babies that we moved. So, so there's not quite as many, um, but we definitely use it in a different manner. This uh, Gallagher fence that I put the sheep on is 164 feet versus the premier one net that is 100 feet. The Gallagher fence does not have the, um, yet it doesn't have the capabilities to have the posts every eight feet, but that kind of is nice because when you're moving it, it's not as heavy as the premier one who's net is shorter but there's so many posts you have to carry and collect so um, the pro is that it is easier to get it to stand up the con is that it's heavier to move that premier one with every eight foot post so this is the premier net that we have and we built these pastures with the intention to have a hundred feet between um, you know the permanent lines and so <clears throat> the goats just moved on here a couple days ago on this side they'll go on the other side of that net after and then they'll rotate back up to one of the sides over there and then up there and they had been up between these two fences and we just put the net up across from the house to the wood line and kept them in that way so it has a lot of versatility and it really lets you use any part of your property that you want to have grazed and it's great with small ruminants because they are so prone to parasite issues that having them be able to move on a regular basis is really healthy for them. Um, but we find, you know, like I said, there's pros and cons to both the Premier and the Gallagher. The Premier is less expensive to get into. Um, it is shorter, it's, uh, 64 feet shorter than the Gallagher fence. Um, I got both, both of them. I got the poultry version so that we can use it with poultry in the future if we want to. Uh, the charger for the Premier comes with the little ground and um, a plug-in adapter to recharge the battery, whereas the Gallagher does not. You have to buy the ground separate and it doesn't come with a charger to charge the battery. But it is much stronger battery with the Gallagher than the Premier. Uh, the Gallagher is a little bit more expensive, but now they're doing packages to where you can get several nuts and a charger and a ground package like for a really decent price. So they are kind of making adjustments for that. Uh, they don't offer the variety that the Premier does. Premier has several different heights and several different lengths and different, you know, uh, pig netting and sheep netting and everything like that. So um, it just depends on your priority there. So I hope that helps you guys out. If you're considering getting some Electronet, I'd strongly advise it. I know it's a big investment, uh, but it's definitely worth it uh, when it comes to being able to move your animals. We even had the Cooney Coon pigs out yesterday in taller grass and they you know, did great. So it's a really great opportunity to be able to move your animals on a regular basis and not have them sitting in the same spots, especially when you're in upstate New York and the grass is taking forever to grow. So. Thanks so much for coming along with me and uh, listening to what I had to say about the Electronet. I hope it's helpful and I hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful day. I hope it's beautiful where you are and uh, I hope that if you have any questions, you'll comment them down below. I had a lot of help from Jason over at Big Bear Homestead when I bought the Gallagher fencing. He had a coupon code even, so that might be something to check out if you're considering. I believe uh, VW Family Farms also has a coupon code. I love both those channels, so either way, help one of them out if you're going to place a big order. I think they get a little bit of credit for it and um, and you'll get like 10% off, which is quite a bit when you're making a big order. So, so think about doing that if you are going to go the Gallagher route and have a great rest of your day, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me.